every day, Google handles more than 8.5 billion searches. That's a lot. But did you know that Google can also be used by hackers to find sensitive data on websites? They use special search terms called Google dorks to do this. Google dorks are like secret codes that help hackers find hidden information that normal searches can't uncover. In this video, we'll learn what Google dorks are and how they're used in penetration testing. A Google dork is a special search term. When used with regular keywords, it helps us find hidden resources indexed by Google. These resources can include sensitive information like usernames, passwords, credit card numbers, email addresses, scripts, and user accounts. Google dorks aren't just for Google. They work with Bing and Yahoo too. Some common tools in Google dorking are search modifiers. These help us find specific information that regular searches might miss. Here are some of the most common operators used in Google dorking. The entitle operator searches for web pages with specific words or phrases in the title tag. For instance, if you're looking for pages that contain the phrase password and have index of in the title, you would use this search term. The in URL operator searches for web pages that contain specific words or phrases in the URL. For example, if you're looking for pages that contain admin PHP in the URL, you would use this search term. The site operator allows you to search within a specific website or domain. For instance, if you're looking for pages on the example.com domain that contain the word steganography, you would use this search term. The file type operator allows you to search for specific file types such as PDFs or Word documents. For example, if you're looking for PDF files that contain the phrase confidential report, you would use this search term. The in-text operator searches for pages that contain specific words or phrases within the body of the page. For instance, if you're looking for pages that contain both the words login and password within the body of the page, you would use this search term. The link operator searches for web pages that link to a specific URL. For example, if you're looking for web pages that link to the example.com domain, you would use this search. The cache operator is used to retrieve the cached version of a web page. When you search for a website using Google, Google creates a cached version of that page in its system. This version can be useful if the original website is temporarily down, or if you want to view an older version of the website. Here is the syntax to find the cached version of yahoo.com. The related operator is used to find web pages that are related to a specific URL. Here is the syntax to use the related operator to find sites similar to yahoo.com. By combining these operators in creative ways, you can find specific types of information on the web that can be useful for penetration testing and other purposes. The Google Hacking Database, GHDB, is a collection of search queries and operators that help with Google dorking. Johnny Long, a well-known security researcher and author, created the GHDB. The GHDB contains search queries and operators that can find sensitive files, vulnerable web servers, and applications. It can also discover default login pages and credentials, as well as network and security devices that might be vulnerable to attacks. The GHDB is organized into categories like files containing passwords, vulnerable servers, footholds, and error messages. Each category has specific search queries and operators designed to reveal information about a target. Keep in mind that GHDB search queries might produce false positives or outdated information. Always verify the information you find using these search operators. Here's a sample scenario using Google dorking. Use the site operator to search only within the company's website. Utilize the entitle operator to find pages with specific keywords in the title. This can uncover potential login pages vulnerable to attack. Employ the file type operator to search for specific file types. This helps find documents or reports with sensitive info. Use the in URL operator to find specific URLs. This finds potential admin pages vulnerable to attack. Utilize the cache operator to to view Google's cached version of a web page. This lets you see page contents even if the original is removed. Lastly, use the related operator to find similar websites. This can reveal potential partners or vendors with access to the company's network. Google dorking is a strong method for doing smart searches on Google. With it, we can find precise info and security holes that are publicly available. But since dorking can be misused, it's vital to use it ethically and with permission. Always make sure you have permission and follow ethical rules when using dorking for security checks. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.